Hey everybody, welcome to GGS Railways. My name is Greg, this is my YouTube channel. Uh, tonight we're going to do something very special. We're going to unbox a Bing locomotive that we bought off of eBay. Uh, I believe it is a 2509. However, I could be wrong on that because I just drew a total blank, but I think that's right. And it was made between 1924 and 1932. Now that part I know to be correct. Now before we get started, uh, to our returning subscribers, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you are the lifeblood of our channel. We couldn't do this without you. Uh, we appreciate you guys more than you possibly could know. Uh, we think of you guys like family. We appreciate you coming back. We, uh, we appreciate the advice, the thumbs up, the uh, camaraderie. Uh, it's just very, very special. Now, if you're not yet a subscriber, I'm gonna say it like I've said it before, why not? <laughs> All right, with no further ado, let's get this uh, Bing locomotive unbox and see what it looks like. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, obviously, I've never seen a Bing locomotive other than you know, magazines and eBay. Uh, so let's check it out. All right, I got my handy dandy knife here. Um, wow, well, this uh, so far the packaging is better than my knife. <laughs> All right, I got it going though. Just, just had a little, little bit of difficulty getting started there. So I usually do these videos after I get home from work, and uh, today was no exception. Today was a pretty good work day, I guess. Uh, if you guys worked, I hope it was a good one for you, you too. Um, just kind of never know. <laughs> But the good news is I get to come home and I get to do this and I get to do it with you guys. That's that's a that's a win-win right there. So all right, I'm having some difficulty getting this box opened. Now there's been some discussion in the last couple of videos about uh, when men box something as opposed to when women box something and uh, I don't know who boxes but man or woman but I gotta show you this, it is boxed really, really well. So if, uh, if our statements, statements of the past few, few videos are true, then a woman likely packed this because I'm having a hard time getting in it, which is the way it should be. Um, you know, you shouldn't send something that is easy to get into or is in damage. In, yeah. My goodness, I can't talk. It is in danger of getting damaged in shipping. I mean, as best as you can help it. So, all right, I think I finally, finally, finally <laughs> have the box open. All right, well, it looks like it's pretty well, pretty well packed in here. I mean, at least the, the box is full of packing anyway. Uh, that's always a, a good sign. So, all right, let's see. This uh, obvious garbage out of the way here. So. What I noticed when I got this box is that the box is very small, which means that the locomotive obviously, well, it's not, not bigger than the box for sure. It's all right. I believe this is probably the locomotive already. That was uh, pretty easy to get to. It's all right. My, uh, my expectations are <laughs> off the chart here. So, all right. Here it is. Wow, oh, 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 oh. whoa, wow, <laughs> nah, my goodness. All right, we'll, we'll give a, a close-up of this in just a moment. But right this moment, I'm gonna set it right here and we're gonna see what the, the tender is here. Uh, generally speaking, I like to, to pull stuff out and uh, doing this in front of the camera has two, two uh, purposes and two uh, pluses. Uh, that being that I get to show you guys and I get to show the seller should there be a problem. However, it does not look like we're going to have a problem, so it's just us. We're going to enjoy it. So, all right, let me get this um, tripod turned around here and we will uh, see what we see. Okay, everybody, so here it is. The Bing locomotive. I believe this is, once again, this is a 7509. Uh, manufactured between 1924 and 1932. If that's not correct, I'll correct myself in a text box, but I think that's correct. Um, <clears throat> the colors on this are beautiful. The, uh, the design is, is very, very nice. It's got just enough 
stamp detail to uh, really make it stand out. The colors are still sharp and, and good. Now I don't know a whole lot about Bing other than they have a reputation of making very fine products. Uh, I know that they were uh, out of Germany. Uh, I know that they collaborated with some other uh, toy train makers, uh, Trix, and I believe even uh, Fandor, and or Dorfin. Uh, probably, probably a great deal more. Uh, just, just awesome, awesome products. Um, history tells us that Bing was uh, driven out of Germany, uh, or either just prior to or right after the Second World War. Uh, the uh, founders of Bing were uh, Jewish, and uh, they fled uh, because, well, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a great place to be at that time. Uh, just kind of a sad, <coughs> sad part of history, sad time. So, all right, this is the locomotive. I promised everybody that uh, I would show the bottom. <laughs> I got in trouble the other day. Somebody's like, you gotta show the bottom. If you're gonna have a channel, you gotta show the bottom. So here it is. It's pretty cool. So that's that's the mechanics of it. Now here on the back, I believe that this lever right here, I guess you can probably see that. I believe this is the forwards in the back. That's pretty cool. That's kind of reminiscent of that uh, the, uh, the Fandor that had the, the switch in the back. So that's pretty freaking cool. Now the tender uh, has the same color scheme and same same general thing as the uh, locomotive. The uh, tender isn't quite in good a shape as the uh, locomotive, but it's still very, very nice. Now this is supposed to be operational, so <laughs> I, uh, I feel very honored uh, to possibly run a, a Bing, Bing locomotive, Bing product on my track, um, that's uh, pretty cool. I, I don't have any any of the Bing cars. Uh, it looks like they would have a, a coupler that looks like this is kind of a, a hook. And then the, uh, from the tender to the locomotive is just tab and slot. So while we don't have any cars to run, I think I'd like to see this run around the track. How about you guys? <laughs> Uh, I'm actually, I've actually been dying to uh, run this around the track all day. So, all right, with no further ado, let's go do that. Okay, everybody, so we have the Bing on the track. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is really, really exciting. I, I just, I may need to pinch myself. I feel like I'm dreaming. So, all right, let's do the inaugural run here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It looks pretty nice sitting on that track. Now this isn't a track that I normally would would show, um, you know, for purposes of the videos, but I seem to prefer this track. I think this is a a uh, Lionel track, but it's the skinnier uh, 027 type scale uh, track. I don't know why it prefers that. Uh, I tried it on the 036, and it did not like it at all, which was something of a surprise to me. But anyway. In any case, we're going to give it one at once, and we're going to give it, give it a roll around. All right, everybody, who's ready? Uh, this uh, locomotive is 20 volts, and uh, my transformer that I'm running it on right this moment is not quite 20 volts, but it's a higher amp uh, transformer. I think it will push it along. Uh, we don't really want it to go so fast that it flies off the track. That would be uh, disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> that would not make Greg very happy. Uh, <laughs> probably not you guys either. So let's, uh, let's give it some gas and let's see what happens. There we go. Pretty cool. So that's not full throttle on this transformer, but I mean, I think that's probably plenty fast enough. Uh, just the colors on this are, are just so amazing and so beautiful. What do you guys think? I'm, <laughs> you know, I have found myself in the position having this YouTube channel more times than not when I start to run a train, it's like my words just 
to go out the window. They just, I'm literally speechless. I'm in awe. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I love this. And I love sharing it with you guys. That makes it, that makes it extra special. So, all right. I'm going around the track pretty much effortlessly. Uh, let's give it a little, little zoom in and maybe we can like, pan and follow it. Let's see, let's see if we can do that. I think we can do that. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. There we go. All right, that's pretty cool. Man, look just, I mean, look at the colors. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I believe this was manufactured from 1927 to 1932. Uh, so to have it run this smoothly and this awesome, uh, this is uh, pretty amazing. <laughs> so, all right, you know what we gotta do, right? We gotta do the slow motion because Greg likes the slow motion. Let's do it. Okay, everybody, once again, this has been the inaugural run of the Bing 7590, uh, produced from 1927 to 1933, and here it is running on our track. Uh, <laughs> that, that is pretty exciting. Um, I couldn't be any more excited uh, if I had to be. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, first run on our track as much as I have. Uh, once again, I uh, having the time of my life doing all this and I, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well so all right uh, having said that uh, once again to our subscribers thank you for joining us once again as we do all kinds of train shenanigans uh, we really really enjoy having you guys and uh, we think of you as family we appreciate the heck out of you guys could not do this without you now if you're not yet a subscriber uh, go ahead do it push the button Mash the button, subscribe, do it. Uh, you don't want to miss anything like this, do you? Okay. <laughs> In any case, uh, I think this is probably about it for now. Um, I've really enjoyed running this Bing. Uh, I think it operates pretty much flawlessly. Uh, it's a little, little hard to believe that it's that old. So, uh, do you imagine that the uh, the toy or the uh, model trains and toys that we buy uh, today will be around in almost 100 years. You know, somehow I kind of doubt it. <laughs> it's a lot of plastic, isn't it? All right, guys. Well, with all that said, I think we're going to call this it. Uh, GGS Railways out.